Good afternoon, I'm Henry, with a special report. Coming from the Lagarita Caldera in Colorado, multiple tourists have reported seeing cracks and gas emissions in the caldera and the surrounding grounds. Local officials have said this is nothing to worry about as the caldera is extinct. The cause isn't exactly known, but it is speculated to be the result of grinding and wear on the ground over the years. The source of the gas turned out to just be dust and sand from the ground moving. We are not sure if the ground is being shifted by a tectonic force or if it's just simply changing. But we are sure this is nothing to worry about. The caldera is extinct. This everything for this report. Back to regular programming. Good morning, I'm Henry, with an update from the Lagarita Caldera. Tourists and local officials have noticed wildlife around the caldera has been acting strange, repeatedly running around randomly and then coming back. This sparks small earthquakes with a magnitude of one and a half or less that most of us can't feel or detect. Scientists and geologists will be looking into the cause of this. Tourists have also noticed the cracks have gotten slightly larger than the day before. Again, there is nothing to worry about as the caldera is extinct. This is everything for this report. Have a nice morning. Morning. Good evening, from Fox 9, I have another update. The USGS has confirmed that there are earthquakes coming from the caldera with a magnitude of less than two, but they also made a terrifying discovery. There is a massive magma chamber triple the size of Yellowstone. It isn't confirmed how much of it is liquid. For millions of years the caldera was thought to have been extinct. We were dead wrong. Geologists have said that the earthquakes could get stronger. There are also sulfur emissions coming from the cracks. They have also noticed small bulges and inflammation in the caldera. This is definitely going to raise some panic, but I assure you, we have nothing to worry about. A little ground rising could mean anything. The volcano may not erupt for thousands if not millions of years. I will keep you updated, and this is everything I have for this update. Have a good night. Good evening once again, I have just received word that three tourists fell to their death when rocks fell off into the caldera. I will not be releasing the names, but the volcanic activity has been increasing over the last few hours. The ground in the caldera has risen about two feet. Earthquakes have hit an average of magnitude 2.5. The United States Geological Survey has found a fault line cutting straight through the caldera, and it seems to be rather newly formed as well. It is speculated to have formed over one million years ago due to wear and tear on the rock scientists have begun to set up monitoring equipment to check for inflation and other changes for signs of an impending eruption. We should worry as this caldera won't erupt for a long time. That is everything I have. Good night. Good morning, it is me Henry again, with another update. Several scientists and geologists were crushed by falling rock pillars inside the caldera while setting up equipment. The operation was successful at the cost of multiple lives. The United States Geological Survey also detected a magnitude 4.3 earthquake on the Richter scale and have linked it to the falling rock pillars. There are also a large amount of cracks that have increased in size and gas emissions. The caldera is on a level 1 alert phone now. Science Scientists and geologists think that the ground is being pushed by the magma chamber below, which has been confirmed as rhyolitic, with a quarter of it being liquid. The chances of an eruption are almost zero, so there is nothing to worry about. This is all I have for THS update. Have a good afternoon.
the following messages transmitted at the request of the United States Geological Survey, at approximately 344 Mountain Daylight Time. The United States Geological Survey has detected a significant increase in small earthquakes over the past five hours which have gradually increased in strength. The United States Geological Survey has reason to believe that a much larger earthquake may be coming. It is not known when it will happen, but if these trends continue, the big one will strike, which will cause massive amounts of damage to any cities caught in the damage radius. As a result of this, an earthquake watch has been placed in effect until further notice. Geologists have predicted that the earthquake will range from a magnitude of 5.3 to 8.7 on the Richter scale. It is strongly advised to not venture near or inside the caldera, as multiple rock pillars have collapsed along with multiple different ground areas around the edge of the caldera, which has already claimed the lives of three tourists. Stand by for further updates on local TV and radio stations for more information and news on this developing situation. The following message is transmitted at the request of the United States Geological Survey. At approximately 2.43 Mountain Daylight Time, an earthquake with a preliminary magnitude of 8.4 on the Richter scale has been detected, which has struck the caldera. The epicenter of this earthquake is on the northeastern side of the caldera, and has caused massive damage to nearby cities, towns, and villages. This earthquake has been felt as far as eastern Oregon and southern Texas. Aftershocks should be expected near the La Garrida Caldera over the next few hours. In addition to this, the United States Geological Survey is not ruling out an eruption of the thought to have been extinct La Garrida Caldera, as the caldera has been reported to have increased volcanic activity. Even though the chances of this happening are very low, all residents receiving this message are strongly advised to be prepared for aftershocks. Tune into local TV and radio stations for more information on the situation. Good morning from NBC, we have a major report to cover coming from the La Garita Caldera. Earlier this morning, a major earthquake with a magnitude of 8.4 was detected and has caused massive damage to buildings, casualties have been reported but the exact number is yet to be confirmed. With the epicenter in the northeastern side of the caldera, this earthquake was felt as far as southern Texas and eastern Oregon. The USGS has reported increased volcanic activity with small amounts of magma oozing through the large cracks, sulfur emissions have reached dangerous levels, multiple large bulges have formed, the magma chamber has begun to stir, as the chamber has become about a third liquid, and it seems like the magma is pushing upwards to the surface, and many rock pillars collapsed as a result. Local officials have closed off all tourism of the caldera due to gas emission and danger of rocks collapsing along with the caldera's instability. The USGS also made a concerning statement that they are not ruling out a potential eruption of the La Garita Caldera, even though the chances of this are very low, people have gone crazy all over social media saying the worst has yet to come, don't worry, the caldera probably won't erupt any time time soon, people seem to love scaring themselves these days. Adding to the major earthquake, Aftershocks lingered for around two hours ranging from magnitudes of 2.3 to 4.6 on the Richter scale, the caldera has been placed on a level 2 alert for now, we will keep you updated on alerts, and activity around the caldera, as a result of this a volcano watch has been issued for Colorado, this is NBC News with a special report, 
we return to regular programming. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency and the United States Geological Survey. This is not a test, I repeat, this is not a test. A mandatory evacuation order has been issued for all residents living within a 1,000 mile radius of the La Garita Caldera. Well, over the last six hours, the USGS has reported that land mass around the caldera has been rising, along with major bulges rising rapidly, and severe volcanic activity under the caldera. Magma has been stirring and building up at the surface. It is likely that the La Garita caldera will erupt within the next 24 to 48 hours. An eruption of this scale would destroy the entire western, southern, and central United States and will be covered in massive amounts of ash. Areas within a 300 mile radius of the caldera will be completely obliterated and will be uninhabitable and unrecognizable. It is likely that this eruption will be a VEI of 8 on the Volcanic Explosivity Index. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation and should be taken very seriously. All residents receiving this message slash broadcast are strongly advised to evacuate immediately. This includes the following states, Eastern Oregon, Idaho, Montana, Eastern Washington, Eastern California, Colorado, Wyoming, Nevada, Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, North and South Dakota, Nebraska, Texas, Oklahoma, Louisiana, Arkansas, Wisconsin, Missouri, Iowa, Minnesota, Illinois, Eastern Kentucky, Western Tennessee, Mississippi, and Northern Michigan. When you are evacuating, tie a yellow collar to your door or mailbox to let authorities know. You have safely left the area. Do not use the tell. Should you require assistance, emergency management and law enforcement officials will escort you to the nearest pickup point, gather all people in your home, and take important supplies, such as food, water, clothing, medical supplies, flashlight, first aid kit, a cell phone and cell phone chargers, a battery powered or hand crank radio to last you for the duration of this emergency. Turn off all heating and air conditioning systems, close and lock all windows and doors, shut off all gas, and seal all cracks on doors and windows with tape and damp towels. Before you leave your house, try to take one car per family if possible. Do not pick up relatives from schools, hospitals, or nursing homes. These facilities have their own emergency procedures and will act on them accordingly. It is strongly advised that you evacuate to the eastern United States or northern Canada as it will receive the least amount of ash fall from this eruption. Most importantly, stay calm. Do not panic. Panicking will only make the situation worse than it needs to be. Evacuate now. I repeat, evacuate now. If you do not evacuate, you face certain death. Tune into local TV, media outlets and radio stations for more information on this dangerous situation. This is not a test, I repeat, this is not a test, a mandatory evacuation order has been issued for residents living within a 1,700 km radius of the La Garita Caldera in Colorado, USA. The following provinces to be evacuated include, Southern Alberta, Southern Manitoba, Southern Saskatchewan, and Southeastern British Columbia. Severe volcanic activity has been reported under the caldera along with major bulges which are rapidly increasing in size, 
it is likely that the La Garita caldera will erupt within the next one to two days. It is recommended to evacuate north or the east as these areas will receive the least amount of ashfall from the eruption. All residents receiving this message are strongly advised to evacuate immediately, take important supplies such as food, water, medical supplies, clothing, flashlight, first aid kit, a cell phone, and a radio to last you for the duration of this emergency. Tune into local TV or radio stations for more information on this dangerous situation. Good afternoon, from a VC headquarters in New York, we have some breaking news, coming from the Lagarita Caldera in Colorado, the United States Geological Survey has released a grim statement 20 minutes ago, that severe volcanic activity has been reported, and the caldera will erupt in the next 24 to 48 hours, an immediate evacuation order has been issued for areas within a 1,000 mile radius of the Lagarita Caldera, areas include, Colorado, Wyoming, Montana, Utah, Nevada, Eastern California, Oregon, Washington, Idaho, Arkansas, Northern Michigan, Wisconsin, Illinois, Eastern Tennessee, Eastern Kentucky, Oklahoma, Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Iowa, Nebraska, South Dakota, North Dakota, and Minnesota. To add to this, the radius includes the southern areas of Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Alberta, and southeastern British Columbia. Areas within 300 miles of the caldera will be obliterated, received massive ashfall and will be uninhabitable. This is going to be one for the record books, as a supervolcano has never erupted in the civilized existence of humans. Lagarita has not erupted for over 20 million years. If you have received the immediate evacuation order message, please evacuate immediately. This is an incredibly dangerous and life-threatening situation. An action needs to be taken immediately. If you do not evacuate, you are facing certain death. This eruption will blanket the planet with ash blocks in global sunlight, causing a volcanic winter and a mass extinction is likely to occur. Crop failures and plunging temperatures should be expected. The Federal Emergency Management Agency urges those with respiratory problems to wear a gas mask as these people are the most vulnerable to the ash. This is a VC News with a special report. We now head back to regular programming. This is an emergency action notification, requested by the White House. All ES participants will follow activation procedures in the ES operating handbook for a global level emergency. The President of the United States, or one of his representatives will shortly deliver a message over the emergency alert system. Please stand by. Please stand by. Please stand by. We interrupt our regular programming. This is a global emergency. Important details will follow. This is an emergency action notification. All broadcasts and cable systems shall transmit this emergency action notification message. 
This station has interrupted its regular programming at the request of the White House to participate in the emergency alert system. During this emergency, most stations will remain on the air providing news and information to the public in the signed areas. This is 89.3. We will continue to serve the Cleveland area. If you are not in this local area, tune now into stations providing news and information for your area. You are listening to the emergency alert system serving the Cleveland area. Do not use the telephone. The telephone line should be kept open for emergency use. The emergency alert system has been activated. We interrupt our regular programming at the request for the White House. This is the emergency alert system. All normal programming has been discontinued during this emergency. This is 89.3. We will continue furnishing news, official information, and instructions for the Cleveland area. If you are not in the Cleveland area, you should tune into stations providing news and information for your area. It is important that you listen carefully to announcements from the station in your local area. Stand by. The President of the United States or his designated representative will be speaking shortly. The following message I am about to give you has been given authorization at the request of myself, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, the United States Geological Survey, and the United States Government, effective as of 1.12 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. This is not a test, I repeat, this is not a test. I regret to inform the citizens of the United States, at approximately 1.09 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, that the thought to have been extinct, or the Rita Caldera, in Colorado has violently erupted. As the result of a large 8.4 earthquake that struck the caldera, this massive eruption has sent an ash cloud 30 miles into the atmosphere, or 48.2 kilometers, an extremely loud bang, even louder than Krakatoa, has been heard from the other side of the planet, and massive amounts of ash and magma have been released, this eruption has been put into a VEI of 8 on the volcanic explosivity index, and possibly even in its own category, this means that this is a mega colossal eruption, and it is confirmed that this will result in a global volcanic winter that will last at least three decades or more, meaning that global temperatures will drop more than four degrees Celsius and will result in a new ice age, a mass extinction, contaminated water, and crop failures. It is expected that the ash cloud will block out global sunlight within the next seven days. I regret to say that areas within 300 miles of Rodrigo were annihilated and will likely be uninhabitable forever. The people that did not evacuate the radius died due to exposure to the ash. This is an incredibly dangerous and life-threatening situation for the planet, and should be taken very seriously. Everyone, no matter where you live, are strongly advised to seek an underground shelter immediately. You are advised to do the following instructions. Find a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Make sure the room has as little doors and windows as possible. Close and lock all windows and doors. Turn off all heating and air conditioning systems, close all fireplace dampers and vents, and seal all cracks on doors and windows, with tape and damp towels, gather supplies, for your shelter such as, food, water, medical supplies, clothing, flashlight, first aid kit, a fully charged cell phone and cell phone chargers, a battery, powered or hand crank radio to last you for the duration of this emergency. If you have respiratory problems, wear a gas mask as those with respiratory problems are most vulnerable to the ash. Do not leave your shelter for any reason as you will die to ash exposure. A super volcanic eruption has never been seen in the civilized existence of humans. The last super eruption was Lake Topo in New Zealand 26,000 years ago. Even with the state our country is in, we will rise as a country stronger than ever. One nation, under God, we have no reason to fall to this apocalyptic event. We hope to rebuild areas lost to this event. If we come together as one nation, we will return to normal once again. Always stay positive during these grim and dark times. Most importantly, stay calm. Do not panic. Panicking will only make the situation worse than it needs to be, and will put more lives at risk. Thank you for listening to this message, and God bless the United States of America. That was a message from the President of the United States. We now return to the emergency alert system. This concludes activations of the emergency alert system. Normal programming may now resume.
event type is national emergency, the following message is being transmitted at the request of the Canadian government, this is not a test, I repeat, this is not a test, a national emergency has been declared for the entire country of Canada, at approximately 1.09 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, the Lagarita Caldera in the United States in Colorado, has violently erupted as the result of the magnitude 8.4 earthquake that struck the caldera yesterday, this eruption has sent an ash cloud more than 40 kilometers into the atmosphere, it is expected that the ash cloud will spread across the planet and block global sunlight in a matter of days, causing a global volcanic winter, a new ice age, the sixth mass extinction, contaminated water, and crop failures, temperatures are expected to drop more than 4 degrees Celsius, this is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation, and action needs to be taken right this instant, all residents of Canada are strongly advised to seek an underground shelter immediately. Close and lock all windows and doors, turn off all heating and air conditioning systems, shut off all gas, close all fireplace dampers, seal all cracks on doors and windows with tape and damp towels, take important supplies with you to your shelter such as food, water, clothing, medical supplies, flashlight, first aid kit, cell phones and cell phone chargers, and a battery powered or hand crank radio to last you for the duration of this emergency, do not go outside, as you will die from ash. Exposure, those with respiratory problems are strongly advised to wear a gas mask as they are the most vulnerable to the ash. Tune into local TV and radio stations for more information on this deadly situation. The following message is transmitted at the request of the United States government. This is an all-clear message. The ash from the eruption of the La Garita Calder in 2025 has finally cleared out of the country, and all residents may exit their shelters at this time. However, there is incredible damage to the country. The National Guard is currently unavailable to rescue people from damaged or destroyed shelters. If your shelter is damaged or destroyed, call 911 and the National Guard, if possible, will send you to the nearest military base. All broadcasts and cable systems can now resume regular programming. All emergency broadcasts will be handed over to state and local officials. This concludes operations of the emergency alert system. Regular programming will now resume. The United States government thanks you for your cooperation during this emergency. Event type is all clear, the following message is being transmitted at the request of the Canadian government, this is an all clear message, the ash cloud from the eruption of the Lagarita Caldera in 2025 has finally cleared, and residents may exit their shelters at this time, however, there is extreme amounts of damage to the country, and it may take decades to rebuild our country, the Canadian Armed Forces is having a hard time rescuing people from damaged or destroyed shelters due to debris. And Ash, if your shelter is damaged or destroyed, call 911 and try to take yourself to the nearest military base, or the Canadian Armed Forces will take you to the nearest military base, all regular programming can now resume at this time, all emergency broadcasts will be handed over to local and provincial officials, the Canadian government thanks you for your cooperation during this emergency.